Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a quarter to four on uh, Wednesday, uh, the 2nd uh, of March. Uh, sorry, I've been quiet for a day or two. There really hasn't been that much to do because the market's been falling and uh, the best thing to do was to do nothing. Uh, so uh, today it looks a little bit brighter in that uh, we've got uh, on VectorVest USA. Uh, we've had uh, the short term trend has turned up. Uh, and uh, we printed a, a green light. Uh, that green light can change before the end of play, of course. Uh, but the shortest term signals on VectorVest uh, are up. Uh, but all the medium to long term signals are still down. Uh, so if we have a look at the VectorVest composite, which I think I've got open. Yes, I have. That's the VectorVest composite, folks. And uh, I put on the medium term market timing system known as the DEW. And that's the system that I'm going to use personally uh, to actually uh, stick my first uh, toes into this market. And uh, quite simply, the uh, VectorVest composite must close above this moving average, a 30 day weighted moving average. And this momentum indicator must get its nose above its uh, center line zero and uh, that still hasn't happened uh, we nearly got a signal here as you can see we closed a couple of days above the moving average but the momentum indicator didn't come to the party so still waiting uh, I have one single position and I've sweated in that position for quite a long time uh, and it's not Zim that's the position that I'm looking at uh, it is uh, none other than CF and it's taken this a uh, heck of a long time uh, to, to come right but nevertheless it finally has come right uh, to get rid of the stochastic for a moment uh, that is uh, how it's looked over the last year I've only got into it I think somewhere down 7250 as it broke and kissed on that level nearly got stopped out in that but managed to uh, stay in there and uh, I managed to get my stop on that to entry and I've taken a little bit indeed it'll soon be 20% into profits and sitting right at the top of this uh, channel so short-term traders if you're in this uh, then um, there is you know a lot of people are going to be looking uh, at you know that that sort of level quite frequently it'll stick its nose through it uh, but uh, you can see there's quite a marked channel here so short-term players I would have thought would be taking their money up there uh, we shall see uh, I, I like the look of Zim and I like the look of Ford Ford as you can see still on a sell signal but the fundamental is quite good Zim I think I've got open I was looking at it a second ago uh, there's the stochastic the stochastic is showing this reverse divergence now a lot of people feel that the stochastic is a uh, is a bit of a waste of time what it does do is that it gives you the discipline to sit and wait for good low risk entries and uh, uh, technically that was a really good entry into zim just down there but clearly uh, the general market wasn't coming to the party i think if the dew does print a buy signal and we break through this high then zim will be my second uh, position uh, so uh, and then uh, on forward and uh, I've got a lot of work to do yet, but on Ford, uh, uh, the uh, situation uh, is uh, moving averages are down. This came back uh, and it's sitting at a 61% retracement of the last range. There is a trend line at work here as well. It, in fact, uh, came up very nicely this morning and then got knocked at this level and that's not so good and as you can see the moving averages are still down so clearly it's got a bit of work and uh, you get very lucky when you actually buy into uh, buy rated stocks that are rising so this share's got a bit of work to do so uh, quite a few things that uh, I'm interested in uh, if we have a look at the UK market, there we are. UK uh, had an up day but got knocked badly yesterday. Uh, uh, and uh, the last time I looked, it was up a little bit today. I think it'll take its lead from the US. Uh, just remember, folks, when it's time to buy, you won't want to. And uh, if you cast your mind back to um, March, uh, I think it was the 24th, 2020, when I took my first steps into the market after the 
coronavirus sell-off, there was absolutely no new good news around. The world had just gone into lockdown, at least the UK had just gone into lockdown. So, hello, uh, the news this evening is going to be full of doom and gloom from this ghastly conflict in the Ukraine. Uh, uh, but uh, I shall be taking the signals as and when they come. Uh, it's still early yet, but uh, I'm starting to become a little bit uh, optimistic that a, a turn is on its way. Uh, so, again, go back to the UK, as we know, or the US. Uh, the S&P's up 42 points. Uh, on the day uh, and uh, still too early for me to do anything but uh, I'm, I'm starting to get interested. I hope you find this useful. Uh, uh, the last week I didn't uh, update because we had a trader show last uh, Friday uh, at uh, in Hammersmith uh, in West London and I was on the go uh, sorting that out for the whole week. Uh, I shall do my best uh, update this uh, when these trends turn could happen soon, it could take another couple of weeks, but sooner or later, as sure as day follows night, uh, there will be a buy signal and that buy signal uh, will occur, as I say, when the news is absolutely dire. Uh, when it's time to buy, you simply won't want to. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.